Alright, so what I'm going to be showing you here is uh, my Tesla coil that I made. Um, and surprisingly enough, uh, this was not as hard as uh, people on the internet make it seem. Um, really the critical thing that you need to have is this, a neon sign transformer. Um, and either whether it's a neon sign transformer, an oil burn ignition transformer, I think, or uh, a MOT, uh, which looks somewhat like that, um, except it has that top piece on it. So it'll look somewhat like that, but that's not a MOT, that's from something else. Um, anyways, so I'm going to uh, turn this on and show you. Um, so, actually, first I'll explain. Uh, right here, I have a spark gap. And if you can see on the bottom, there's two sets of stuff. It's a safety gap with that middle pin right there being grounded. Uh, it's protecting the on-site transformer from any high-frequency kickbacks and everything. Um, and then I have my two capacitors here. They're not very big at all. They like This is my hand. I mean, they're not big. This, these over here, my other ones from my bigger Tesla coil, which surprisingly did not work as well as this small one. Um, but... So they're all connected. This, uh, these two are connected uh, in, I think, parallel. Um, and then here I have my primary windings. Um, right there and everything, which is, I don't know, probably like 10 turns. I still have to tweak that to get to more output. And it's on a PVC casing. And then my secondary here um, goes all the way bottom like that. Ooh. Secondary is, I think, 650 turns. I uh, don't know the wire gauge because I got it out of a light ballast, like those fluorescent light ballasts. Um, and I have all these little boards right here. It's actually wood laminate or any floors in our house and everything. I found out they're extremely good insulators from ground. And this stuff started arcing to ground, so I stuck it on that. And that's, you know, that's what happened. Um, and so, yeah, here's the circuit configuration. It's really simple. Um, it's the bottom one there. Uh, there's the spark gap, the capacitor, the safety gap, and then the um, output side. And that is, like, the simplest one you can find on the Internet. Uh, so I'm not going into any fancy stuff right now. And all of this, except for that neon sign transformer, is homemade. You can make everything you see right here. Except for I don't think you can make a light bulb. Um, but you can make everything right here uh, from basically parts in your garage or cabinets or anything. And um, this neon sign transformer I found, so I didn't have to pay for it. So none of this stuff right here I paid for. I like to... Um, scrounge around a lot and look for parts. Um, so here I will show you what it's like when it's turned on. Alrighty, so said I would show you, so here it is. Gotta plug it in real quick. See if I can get this with one arm. Okay, that's a bit loud. So what the coolest part is, is um, this is actually, I don't know how many kilovolts this is. Uh, it's a 12,000 volt input. Um, I'll show you the specs in a, another little segment, just a second here. But the um, cool part is you can actually touch your hand to this. And it's jumping probably about, when it's jumping to a piece of metal, it's jumping oh, probably about two inches. Um, and here, I'll show you jumping to my hand. Now that kind of tingles a little bit, but uh, as you can see, my hand's not burnt by anything. It's just like a little tiny pinprick. hurts less than a needle. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it, but so uh, now I will 
uh, show you all the specs for it. Alright, so here are the specs for this. Alright, on the primary coil, I have, uh, this is probably about uh, four or five inches off the ground, so it's up about five inches on the coil. Uh, it has nine turns on it, um, and it's wound on, I believe, a two-inch diameter uh, PVC pipe. Um, and the secondary here is the coil length is uh, exactly one foot. I didn't even measure it, it somehow got exactly one foot. And it has 650 turns. Um, and I don't know, some people think that you need to have one continuous strand of wire. You don't. There are plenty of breaks in mine. There's more right here. Everything. Yeah, I have like six breaks on my wire. Um, cause I had wound the wire from a, uh, a, uh, a fluorescent light, uh, lamp ballast and everything. That is a great source of wire. There's, there's just a ton of stuff in there. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Um, and so that would be the primary and secondary. Um, and then going to the capacitors here, um, they are total of, uh, 0.13 nanofarads uh, capacitance and I know it's not very much at all but uh, it works so um, I already showed you here the spark gap and then the safety gap um, oh and then the neon sign transformer uh, that is 12,000 volts at uh, 30 milliamps and, uh, you know, has the whole short circuit protection, all that stuff. Um, yeah. So, those are my specs. Um, I believe I covered everything. And, uh, if any of you who are watching have questions on, uh, how I did it or want more stuff, um, I'd be extremely happy to help you. Um, so, comment. Alright, bye.